I study toilets, but I don't care about fancy seat covers or the pearly whiteness of the porcelain or if the toilet paper goes over or under the roll. I care about data. How much water do we use when we flush? And how much water could dual flush toilets save? Dual flush toilets have two settings for flushing a low flush setting for liquid waste, and a high flush setting for solid waste. But regardless of what each flushed, I studied the crap out of both of them. <laughs> I studied two residential buildings on campus. One of them, Davis Hall, had been equipped with standard toilets, while the other, Rich Hall, had been upgraded to dual flush. According to the manufacturer of our porcelain partners, a high flush on a dual flush toilet should be the same as a normal flush. Theoretically, there should be a decrease in water usage through use of dual flush toilets. My research team set up, which I used for collecting data, consisted of residential buildings with high resolution water meters and $35 Raspberry Pi computers, which are portable, multi use computers. Frankly, toilets have more to do with actual Raspberry Pi than this collection of circuits, but I digress. These are all combined with an algorithm for identifying toilet flushes in the data we collected. We used each Raspberry Pi to record the flow rate for an entire building with a resolution of one flow rate recording per second. Non-toilet water fixtures, like sinks and showers, they have flow rates between one half and three gallons per minute. In contrast, toilets use water faster than 20 gallons per minute. This makes them identifiable in the building's overall water use because they appear as drastic spikes in the flow, in the flow rate recordings. I had the data loggers installed on two buildings' water meters and I collected flow rate data from each building for a period of two weeks. Upon the completion of these two weeks, I emerged from my own throne room with an algorithm that identified toilets from the drastic spikes in the data. However, when I examined the total volume of water used by toilets over the two-week sample period, dual flush toilets use about twice as much water as the control toilets. This amounts to about 4,400 gallons of water used by the toilets over the two weeks. Obviously, I was surprised because we didn't think dual flush valves would increase toilet water usage. What could this mean? Why would they do this? Have we been betrayed by seemingly peaceful and inanimate toilets? Toilets attempting to inconspicuously deplete us of our water resources with an end goal of human subordination. Or was there just a general problem with the dual flush toilets, unknown to the residents of the building, myself included? My research provides the needed resolution of data for understanding our porcelain gods if we aim to save water and allow for urban development with the resources we have. Sexy new products and innovations are often advertised as tools we can use to save the world, but there is nothing sexy about a flow meter hooked up to pipes in the basement. It's not about the meter or the questionably named Raspberry Pi computer. It's about data. Data that quantifies usage can answer more questions through higher resolution and greater quantity. Data that allowed me to quantify the individual flushes uncovered details about both buildings' water usage that would have never been uncovered through trust in manufacturer specifications or in other testing methods. It is difficult to understand the actual post-installation usage of fixtures without the kinds of data the Raspberry Pi provided us. High-resolution data is one of the best ways to ensure proper functionality of a fixture while it is in use. I'm an engineer who sees an urban space and wants to affect it in ways that can further benefit mankind's development. The florally rich nature we typically think of and the steel-meeting cement nature of cities both enamor and incite the computer scientist in me to look for ways and solutions for mankind's urban development. Water is a commodity needed every day for hydration and sanitation that can only be used more efficiently if we know what uses data have for understanding it. Shortly before I began my study, I learned that my current living space was the only apartment building in my entire community with dual flush toilets. I realized that this was an amazing opportunity to both collect high resolution data and to also really scare my roommates with how much time I spent with our toilet. But this study resonates with me because it forced me to fully understand the fixtures of my own humble abode, something that I hope the rest of our society becomes more capable of doing through data becoming more accessible. Today, I told you about how I studied a toilet, but what I want you all to remember is how data from the toilet can test us. Thank you.